Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick overview video of my process for taking an idea from sketch to final keyframe. I'm using a motorcycle I designed, but the design process can be used for really anything from vehicle to product, fashion, film, game, and even toy design. I'm not going to be going into specifics on how to use each program as there's plenty of schools and tutorials out there. And I'll list some of those as well as free software you can download at home at the end of this video. So let's get into it. I always start with a sketch. In this case, it was a fairly loose doodle done on my iPad, but the same thing can be done with a pen and paper, pencil, marker, basically anything. The more you can work out in the sketch, the easier translating it into 3D will be. I started this bike knowing I wanted hub center steering up front. That was about it. After that, it was really just about developing a body proportion around it, which is essentially a, a graphic design exercise. As I cycle through the layers here, you can see it's totally fine to draw over and erase initial ideas you might have had. Once you're happy with your sketch, open up your 3D platform and import it into your workspace. That way you can match up your lines directly. Focus on the big shapes and the overall silhouette, not getting hung up on any little details. Uh, it's good to stay in side view basically this entire time uh, to block the silhouette in. Uh, and once that's done, then you can open up perspective view and start extruding outwards to give it some thickness. You'll learn a lot about sketching and form during this stage as some of the parts of your initial sketch might not transfer properly into 3D, which is totally fine. And as you get the big shapes blocked out, it's good to start adding in all the crazy little details and some basic textures to look at the overall graphic breakup. And then you're ready to export and really start texturing this guy out. Texturing can be done many ways, but I've been using Substance Painter a lot, which is essentially a 3D version of Photoshop. Uh, you can import your model and really start showing off your graphic design skills here as you use smart materials to add wear to edges or paint scratches, patterns, or you can paint directly onto the model itself uh, with your own custom graphics. And finally, we're ready to start rendering. This is where you really see your design come alive. Uh, I'm using Octane Standalone, which you can kind of think of as a film studio inside of your computer. These rendering engines often have libraries of materials that you can use in combination with your custom ones that you've done in Substance. Lighting, you can use sunlight as I'm doing here and literally place the sun wherever you want to get it just that perfect golden hour. You can also use HDRIs to set up, simulate studio lighting, as well as place individual lights uh, to simulate studio lighting. Really depends on what that final look is that you're going for. You'll end up spending a lot of time in this phase just because it's so fun tweaking the camera and the lighting just right to really nail the shot that you want. The last step here is to jump into Photoshop and tweak the lighting, materials, add any details that you might have forgotten to do in Substance. Uh, the more time that you spent detailing in the model or substance, the less time that you're going to spend here, uh, or vice versa. There's really no right or wrong way. And that's it. Now you've got some images that you could use in a film or game pitch, uh, images for a Kickstarter. If your model's pretty clean, you could also do some 3D prints of whatever you create. So as I mentioned, you know, you can use a pen and paper to sketch your initial idea out. Uh, modeling, there's a lot of different programs you can use. Uh, Blender is great and it's free. SketchUp is also pretty good and it's free. Uh, 3ds Max and Maya have student versions that you can get. Uh, there's a lot of other 3D programs that are great that you can probably get your hands on a student version of. I would also recommend Blender as its internal rendering engine, kind of like uh, Octane, is also free. Uh, so that's a great all-in-one product to use. Don't worry too much about what kind of computer that you have. Uh, you know, I'm a professional working in the industry, and up until about a year ago, I had been doing all of my work on a 2012 MacBook Pro uh, that is not very powerful by any means. Now, as far as learning each of these softwares individually, uh, there's a ton of different ways to do that. You know, you can go to a four-year school, you can watch tutorials online on YouTube. There's also online schools. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way. Uh, each of them have their you know, pros and cons. It's really just dependent on what's going to work for your personal life. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching.